everyone, and welcome to Tastes and Titles. I'm Corinne Caro on The Daily Blue today, here with my co-host, Patricia Stein, really good friend and co-host. And we have a really, really special show for you today. We're on location at Chow Baby, and you're, uh, you're involved in this restaurant, right? I'm involved, yes. You're heavily involved. <laughs> in other words, you do a lot of the marketing. Yes. And you do a lot of events here. Yes. I work the Facebook page. You do. I bring the realtors into Ooh, the real surprise. Oh, Whoa, surprise. Oh, speak. Sicilian rice bowl. <laughs> Sicilian yeah. rice bowl. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Thank you so much, Lee. Let's Look at this slice, just yeah. to get started Let's right away. Right away. The Man vs. Food Show recorded here, and that made it on all around the world. Our famous okay, rice bowl. Okay, I've seen this rice bowl everywhere, just I think because it gets just notoriety because it's ginormous, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to be Thanks, eating Frank. and chatting? Absolutely. I get served here, right? What's better than that? I love it. I love it. Tell so, me about, this is like world famous, this rice bowl. Absolutely. I mean, it I takes mean, a team to eat this. It made it to Italy, Spain. I'm, the emails that I get on the Chow Baby page are coming from all over the, all over the world. It's amazing. I love it. Yes. Do you ship it out? I wish we could. I love it. So tell us about your very special guest that you invited here today. My special guest is Lenny Oliva. He owns uh, Chow Baby Restaurant and the new location, Bricks and Barley. Um, he's on the show today to talk about how we combine the real estate business with the restaurant business. Uh, I, I want all our restaurant customers to know that they can count on you know, the owners of the restaurants. Um, if they're looking to buy or sell the house, to point them in the right direction. Yeah, well, so let's bring Lenny, Lenny on right now. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, Lenny was so great to bring us some wine, so I'd like to toast to you guys. Oh, wait, I have to hold my wine glass properly. The Lenny bottom, had told me that I need to hold it from the bottom. <laughs> so cheers. Thank you for having me, ladies. Thank you for having us in this beautiful restaurant and, um, you know, supplying with us with this nice little little rice ball today. <laughs> Is this your creation? I mean... Uh, the rice ball's been a core dish for us for 15 years now. Wow. And um, it's been a, a staple for us. I love the rice ball here. It's like an in, it's a meal for an army. <laughs> Just <laughs> I thought you could feed. I could bring my four kids here, and they could, you know, have a have a little bit of taste of the rice ball and be full for the rest of the night. And then, in, the, yep. In fact, Travel Channel Man vs. Food filmed here using that as their uh, story. I love it. Um, so we're here on Chow Baby in Comac. How long have you guys been here? Uh, we'll be celebrating our 15th year anniversary this October. Wow. So it's a long time. Years 15 years. It's a long years. time. Yes. And how did you get into the restaurant business? I've been in the hospitality industry pretty much all my life, all through college, and uh, always wanted to own a restaurant, get involved, and uh, we built this around the Frank Sinatra theme 15 years ago. I know, the ago. music here is spectacular. Thank and you. The visuals of all of the kind of like an old time, like Hollywood glamour, right? Rat Pack. But again, the food is um, really family style. It's like my mom cooked when I was a kid growing really? up. Really? Yes. Lenny, that's adorable. Okay, so now you guys met somehow. Tell, tell me how you met. We met at Chow Baby. The Chow Baby was... Massapequa. Uh, Massapequa, yes. Okay. It was a place I um, grew my business with. I brought realtors into the, into the restaurant. I brought anybody looking to buy or sell their home into the restaurant to educate them. And Chow Baby created such a great package for me to do that as I was growing my business. Right. Um, so Lenny and I met in 2009 at Chow Baby Massapequa. Um, I had about 90 realtors at the, at the bar. And um, they realized at that point that I was not only bringing people in, um, we, were, we were educating the, the actual customers that were coming in. Yeah. So uh, they asked me to be part of the restaurant in 2011. Wow. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty big commitment. <laughs> Patricia's been a very big networker. Yeah, um, she is a networker, that's for sure. And, and she does not let anything go. This girl follows through and she gets stuff done. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. We have to be related because you're the same way. I <laughs> yes, that's right. Cheers. But it works very well. Every good business model needs um, to embrace um, networking. Yeah, the community, uh, you do that really well. FaceTime's important with your employees, your clients, your patrons, and the more and more you interact, that's how you become successful. I love it. So she's been an integral part of bringing the community in, I would think, and particularly for the real estate industry. Yes. I mean, how does Liberty National Title attract those real estate agents and then get them into the restaurant, and how you mix all that? How do you do that? Um, Facebook, um, you know, all the social media sites. I mean, when we go into real estate offices, we drop off flyers, inviting them in. Um, but, you know, we really want the consumer. We want the realtors to bring their, their buyers or their sellers in. You know, we do the lunch and learns in the restaurants. Yeah. Liberty National Title will host it and educate the consumer on 
um, you know, about buying a house, and it's like free education, and um, we get sponsors to take care of the food. So I they come that. in, they eat, and they learn, and that's kind of where we're headed. And speaking of sponsors, tonight we have Realty Connect is sponsoring your Tuesday night, yes. uh, the open bar from 6 to 7, so if yes. you're watching live, come down tonight, open bar, um, which is really nice, yes. so that definitely attracts some... They have to bring their um, their business card. So it's for realtors only. They bring the business card. They get open bar from 6 to 7. And um, I had to fight Lenny to get that karaoke night here on Tuesday night. And, it yeah, is, and you are enjoying that karaoke, yes. okay? Ironically. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <laughs> the happy hour is a medium to, um, to embrace the, the realtors. They all meet here. We all work hard all day long. And it's the one time that we can kind of get together and get FaceTime. Yeah. If we all leave the night with one or two business cards to yeah. build our businesses, right. that's the name of the game. Now, are you involved in Liberty National at all? Does I'm that involved work for with you? the yes, with the other uh, settlement division of okay. the company. Correct. Really, yes. I did not know that. So you guys really, really mix taste and title. Yeah. <laughs> we network. Uh, we use the restaurants as a great medium. Um, yeah. Lunch and learn, as Patricia said. We sponsor many Long Island Board of Realtor events here as well. Right. And uh, we really try to educate the realtors, our consumers, our clients. Yeah. Thank you to do that. Yeah, and, it's great. I love it. So, what is in the future of Chow Baby? Um, and uh, we'll get to like how you're going to mix that in the future. But what's in the future of Chow Baby itself? You just opened Bricks and Barley in Long Beach. It's like six months now, almost. Uh, we opened in Long Beach about three and a half months now. Is that it? Wow. And it's some. I mean, all of my office talks about the food there. It's really good stuff. Really good stuff. I think this business is very tough right now. Full service needs a little, tw a little tweaking. Okay. Um, everybody's pressed for time. Yeah. So the model is uh, quick service as well as full service. And dynamic, fantastic food. So you have to really be on your feet, right? We're trying to be more proactive with the consumer, trying okay. to give them value-added um, reasons to come here. Right. Um, everybody's pressed for time. They're working two or three jobs. Yeah. Um, so it's a great venue for the the time star family to do take food out of here as well as uh, Long Beach. We have a we have full delivery service there as well. And we'll try to put some of those those components of there into the child baby model as well. Wow. At the same time pushing the uh, the networking for the real estate. Right. Now do you specifically always do networking for real estate or you do other things too? I mean, you can have anything here, right? We sponsor right? many small business groups. Yeah. Um, usually once a month, we have something going on in one of the stores. That's usually great. they last from six to nine um, at the bar, mm -hmm. where we really basically we meet and mingle. We exchange business cards. Um, and everybody, again, everybody works long, long hours all day, and that's the one time they can unwind a little bit and yeah. try to discuss their, their business model to others. Now, I have to ask, would you suggest that, I always wanted a restaurant too, just because I like people, but I see how hard it is. It's hard, right? Yeah, it's I mean, hard. it's... It's laborious, it's demanding. What would you, would you recommend people get into this the business? This business has the highest failure rate of any small business. Wow. So unless you have a passion for people, passion for this business, I would say, do not enter. Right, uh, and not even a passion for food. It's a passion for the people. You have to have the, the passion for people and the dynamics. The hours are long. Yeah. Um, they're not conducive to being around families at holidays and so forth. You it's have hard, to be right? in the business. You have to marry your business. Yeah. But, but again, you have a great partner. Yes, I do. That supports you <laughs> and 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 helps you to bring in new business and different ideas, right? I mean, that's so important. That's correct. We're always um, trying new things out. Um, I'm a firm believer of testing new ideas. Yeah. And the restaurant's a great uh, great medium to do that. Yeah, definitely. Now, you have partners in the other restaurants as well? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Do you set up um, real estate networking events in all the other restaurants? Have you gotten to Bricks yet? No, I haven't. We gotta but do that, we, we'll be there soon because the warm weather's coming and I know people want to be outdoors. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, you guys can entertain outdoors at, at Bricks? No, but, you know, we have the doors that open up oh, so that's that the, nice. you know, wow. it lets the sunlight that. in. And sidewalk um, yeah. eating on the, um, the heart of Long Beach. Yeah. It's so great down there, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us what's in store for Chow Babies and the real estate industry. Um, well, we help to reach the consumer through this show, Taste and Title, um, yeah. once a month. And we want to invite the consumers to come in here, eat, and ask questions about real estate. Yeah. Um, we've had... A lot of customers come into the bar and ask us, oh, they're looking to buy, you're looking to sell, and asking Lenny and I questions, and we're like, well, why don't we, you know, take this up a little notch and, you know, bring it out on the show to let them know that they can trust their restaurant, you know, owners um, through the real estate process. And that's kind of what we're trying to accomplish here. Yeah. Also, we marry consumers with our real estate agents as well. Um, and we're here almost 15 years. We have a loyal following of consumers. You do. And who trust us. And they're like family here. Right. So if they have any real estate meeting, any real estate questions, they address uh, Patricia as well to get guidance. 
Oh, I really love it. You guys have built something really special here. Um, tonight we're going to be doing uh, the first premiere shooting of Feast on This, yes. right? Yep. Or it's Feast. I know there's Feast on This and Feast on That. Uh, there's a radio show and you're going to be on both, the radio and the Daily Blue show cool. tonight with Venus Contera and she's going to be doing, uh, what, what can we expect for tonight for the show? Is, are you going to have a, the chef making anything special or? We'll have the chef um, cook our main core dishes. Um, she'll review them. Nice. Uh, hopefully we'll have a busy restaurant as well yeah. so we can uh, have our clients get involved as well during the Oh, that would be review. fantastic. Yes. So come on down tonight um, and be a part of the premiere of Feast on This or yeah. Feast on That. <laughs> Feast on That is tonight. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, I think, to say those. Um, okay, so anything else to add? Um, anything else to add, Ray? No, our calendar is getting built, uh, booked pretty heavily. We have a lot of events coming on uh, going forward. Uh, we want to build a Tuesday karaoke for realtors. Yeah. Um, it's really been a good uh, good event for us. I think so. Um, get anybody that touches the real estate uh, industry to come down and just exchange business cards. Yeah. Meet and greet and attorneys are welcome as well. Um, just to we all kind of get FaceTime with each other. I love that. It's yeah. excellent. All right. Well, stay tuned because we're going to maybe talk a little bit. Eat. We, I mean, we have to eat. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, the rice bowl. I don't want to eat on camera. <laughs> People really know how much I enjoy this rice bowl. Um, but we'll stay tuned because we're going to do another episode. I think we should talk a little bit more and talk to the to the uh, viewers a little bit more so don't forget you can call in at 664-9412 area code 631 or when you're on the daily blue it's a social network so you can ask lanny and patricia any questions that you want stay tuned we're going to come up again in another episode after we try this rice bowl and give you uh we're going to critique the rice bowl which is our we already know is dynamic and uh later again don't forget feast on that tonight later and uh come on down six to seven is open bar if you're a realtor give your card and uh we'll check back in a little bit i'm corinne carroll here with Lenny and Patricia. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we'll see you in a bit.